Thank you, Diana. P Luna the bear is the polar bear cub that has captured the hearts of everybody in Buffalo. And we're here with Tracy Laverty. You are a local jewelry designer. And your daughter, Allie, and of course, Rachel Gottlieb of the Buffalo Zoo. Now, we're working to keep our bears in Buffalo, as the campaign says. But tell us a little bit about this campaign, what's going on, and why you know people are lending a hand to get the polar bears in Buffalo. Well, as you know, Matt, everybody loves Luna. Um, she's kind of a diva. She's been really famous around Buffalo and, and nationally, so um, people are really excited about helping out the zoo and keeping her here. So we've had uh, a great response to the campaign. Um, we're really overwhelmed, really, by all the support that we've gotten, and people are stepping up. We've got, um, you know, you, we've had ice cream and, and jewelry, so we're really excited with what Allie has done for us. She designed some jewelry, and she's doing a great job. And Allie, I'm turning it over to you because you heard about the campaign to keep the polar bears in Buffalo, and you've come up with some really beautiful jewelry designs. So tell me a little bit of where your inspiration came from. Well... I heard that you saw a, a, a billboard with the polar bears on it. So then did you hand draw all of these jewelry pieces? Yes. Yes. And we decided that um, we, this was something that we could do to help contribute a little bit to the zoo. Um, we've been members for a long time. Um, Allie was very excited about the birth of baby polar bear. And uh, when she heard about our bears belong in Buffalo, she wanted to do a fundraiser. So. We had her draw up some designs, and this is what we came up with. And I want to show these designs right now because they are phenomenal. Now, you drew the designs, Allie, and then once the designs were drawn, what was the next step? Uh, well, the next step was to hope that we could find all the supplies that we needed to, uh, to make them come to life, which we were able to do. Um, we have the polar bear necklaces. Allie drew um, the designs for the cuffs. They're all, everything is hand-stamped. Um, and then just within the last week, uh, one of the uh, workers at the zoo, um, her name is Alice, she asked if we had anything for men, so Allie actually drew a couple designs that aren't even on our card um, for the keychains. So we have keychains now for, for men as well. And then with the purchase of these, some of it does go to the Buffalo Zoo to keep the bears in Buffalo. How does that all work? 100% um, of the profits are being donated to the zoo. We're just um, covering our supplies so that we can keep the project going. Um, and Allie, do you want to tell them what your goal was? My goal was a thousand dollars. And I'm sure that you've met the goal. Have we met the goal yet? Well, our website just went live about ten days ago, so we're about halfway to our goal. But I'm sure that um, by being here and also um, a fundraiser that Allie is hosting next Saturday at Buffalo Adore on Abbott Road, uh, that we will exceed our goal. Well, That's I have hoping. to say, Allie, I think you have a bright future in the world of jewelry design. And I want to turn it over to you, Rachel, because you always have amazing events happening at the Buffalo Zoo. And I hear that global warming is coming up. Um, global warming is um, it's coming up. We do, we're having a uh, special uh, Earth celebration. So we have got more information about that on our website. OK, perfect. And again, thank you so much, Ellie, for gracing us with your talents. And you can go to Luna Bear Designs on Etsy. And that's where you can find all of these amazing pieces of jewelry. But right now, we are going to head to break. And when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about